Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Swinney, here at the ModernWallStreet.com studio, and it's about that time. It may be gray and rainy outside, but I think I'll try and brighten things up a bit with a drink, because it's officially happy hour here in the Big Apple. U.S. stocks trading in a tight range this Tuesday afternoon as investors continue to weigh the likelihood of a December rate hike. But first, on the economic data front, import prices falling a more than expected half a percent in October. This while export prices also fell 0.2 percent. While wholesale inventories, they rose half a percent in September, therefore marking the largest gain in three months. And once again, moving markets overnight was China as the nation's October consumer price index rose a less than expected 1.3% from one year ago, while the producer price index for China, that fell 5.9% for its 44th straight month of decline. Now you team all of that with gold inching higher, crude oil futures up more than three quarters of a percent, and the U.S. dollar continuing to trade higher against its counterparts, then you have yourself a session right now where advancers are just a step ahead of decliners over at the New York Stock Exchange. Let's take a look now to see how the markets are shaping up to close out this trading session. And on the corporate front, Apple, the greatest weight on the Dow Jones this afternoon, briefly trading more than 2.5% lower after a Credit Suisse report said the iPhone maker has cut as much as 10% of its component orders. And also, we have to discuss General Electric hitting $30 a share for the first time in intraday trade since August 18, 2008. The stock has not closed above that level since June 10. 2008. And for more corporate news, check out our earlier ModernWallStreet.com Market Movers Report with our very own Lelda Smits. And with that stated, kick back, relax, try to, try to stay dry in the tri-state area. I'll see you guys all tomorrow morning. For ModernWallStreet.com, I'm James Swinney.